In this video, you're going to learn how you can basically export game for new Unreal Engine 5.1.0. The first thing, what you need to do, just go to Epic, then just press this option button, then go to option, and here you find something like this. For play my game, you can check my Google Play Store account and you can follow me on my Facebook page. Also, you can visit our website for get more information. And if you have a personal project or if you have some work, you can Gmail me at my Gmail address. Also, like, share and subscribe and support me. If you want my paid course, you can check in Udemy, link in the description. And just scroll down and here you find the targeted platform that Android. You must need this thing. And then if you don't have, just simply tick on that and then click on apply. Once you've done this, then you need the Visual Studio. So you can install the Visual Studio, uh, it's a reinstaller and you can use the 2020 and even 2019 also, but recommended is 2019 that is because this is stable and it's have lots of component. That's why then you need, once you install that, you need to go to modify section and then you need to scroll down and here you find that game development with C++, just tick on that and go to individual components and <clears throat> stick on that and here you find that unreal installer and android ide is supported for unreal engine make sure you install that and in individual component you need to download the msvc uh, msvc v14 and then msvc v142 okay make sure you download that and once you're done just click on modify and apply because i already have that side showing me the anti so in your case you need to just tick and install that and once you've done this thing then you need the sdk ndk jdk so you can check my this tutorial that how to set up sdk ndk jdk and we just to save for unreal 5.0.3 but this will be same work for 5.1.0 also so you need just install the sdk and jdk and you know ndk and once you're done then here is our 5.0 new 5.1.0 then go to and let's create a simple project so third person then blueprint then in target play from the select mobile and then quality preset to maximum then simply click on create project now if you are doing first time it's might be uh should have compiled more than 1500 to 1700 and then as you can see it's all shader is still shader compiling because it needs some time to compile shader okay once you done uh, if you go to black from you just find like this that android is now enable you can export if you want you can by default you can export without any issue if you successfully export or if you successfully uh, set up everything but however let me show you some more settings that you need to go to edit then project settings and at here you need to just scroll down and once you scroll down you find that android sdk so just click on that and here you need to put uh, pick your sdk location ndk location and jdk location some of cases maybe you need the jdk 1.8.8 uh, 301 u version uh, from the uh, ourself and if it's not work for you then you can use the the by default android studio dot java dot jar uh, 1.0.8 uh, version and then you need the ndk version 21.1.653426 make sure you download this specific this version of code or it will be not work and then the by default the sdk then once you're done you need to go to android and simply click on here that config now and at here you can put any of thing but make sure that all in a small letter not in capital letter or it will be not work kind of like lots of you i just see that you write something like this like a capital letter use so don't use that just write simply like this uh, kind of like you want to give your package in dot so just so you can write that or if you want you can give your project name like unreal okay that is simple keep simple then <clears throat> An application display name that is basically your a display of your application like which one you want to show and there at here in 5.1.0 there's a some new feature if like they already specify or write here you that if you write 26 uh, api level so what they give you like the 8.0.8 that is the oreo version then you find if you write the 28 point then you find the android 9 for, 20, uh, for 13 you find the android 11 and if you write the 30 one then you find the android 12 and the same thing for the target sdk version so let's say put uh 21 uh why i put 21 because this is support 4.4.0 that is a kitkat version 
and the target date let's give it to 30 sdk so we are giving the minimum at least we need uh, for run our game we need the sdk version 4.4.0 that's this kit cat and highest we can use the android 11 recommended but even our game is support android 12 also so doesn't matter don't worry about that then in amr section there's nothing uh lots of stuff there's nothing too much that you need to add it so just skip this part but yeah if you are uh, exporting your game for production le level kind of like you are publishing your game for google play store then you need to uh, fill up this from that key store allies and store pass and then you need to enable the uh, generate.abb file because google support .abb files that's why google doesn't support apk more for uh, uploading your game and then at from the icon sector you can basically change your icons for your game so make sure that it's have a format specific and also a specific pixel size or make sure that you set up a nice what you can if you can use the photoshop resizer and then once you're done you can even change the window sector also kind of like if by default they give you the directors 12 so you can put to default uh even default and then <coughs> the compiler version you can choose to 2019 even 2022 it doesn't matter then go to once you're done you can give a restart simple then go to platform then android then packaging then once you press it will be like come like this then simply click on select folder and it will be start uh, export and make sure some of cases it maybe can run the dot sdk manager dot bat file so you need to wait some time to complete this progress and at here you can check your basically log output what is basically going on and as you can see it's uh, basically now working on the 32 sdk so basically you know it is uh, some uh, have a command issue and that's why it's uh, try to do that in manually so as you can see it's automatically closed because this thing is done so now you need to wait some time to process all this stuff so it will be compiled lots of stuff and if you're doing a uh, first time maybe it can be take a uh, 15 minute to 30 minute to complete all progress and if you are doing second time it will be like this like very fastly it will be load everything and if you see that it's uh, right this line of uh, line log that make dot apk with riddle so it's mean that your aim is now 90 percent done and if you start this progress or permission dot task downloading permission this library downloading then your game is totally complete so now it will just downloading some files from server for uh, from android server and once this is done your apk will be ready so just wait some time to complete this thing and as you can see our game has been successfully packaged or successfully export for the android so if you have any kind of like app like uh, blue stick or some other uh, emulator you can check that and you can test your app at there so as you can see here is our com.obb file and here is our apk file okay and they also give you the win64 uh, dot run setup in file different you can use them too so that is for in this video thank you so much for watching guys and see you in next tutorial video for play my game you can check my google play store account and you can follow me on my facebook page also you can visit our website for get more information and if you have personal project or if you have some work you can gmail me at my gmail address also like share and subscribe and support me if you want my paid course you can check in udemy link in the description